So I think it's safe to say that the patch that came out on the 29th that introduced so-called ranked game mode was probably for a lot of people considered the worst patch in Prop Knight's very short history in life. It has the most comments in a very negative way on Steam. Reddit's a little bit, it's leaning towards a lot of positive reviews, but there are a handful of very vulk people who are displeased with the direction that, that the devs have taken with the patch that released on the 29th. And even people on Discord hated the patch as well, right? It is a very split patch. I don't trust them. I don't trust that dude at all. When you're playing against the imposter, you trust nobody. But yeah, like I was saying, it kind of made me realize that developing an asymmetrical game is a very challenging to balance for survivors and killers. And some of the complaints are understandable and some of them are just out there. People just whining, honestly. It's just people just whining. Like, for example, on the farm map, which is very survivor friendly, people who main survivor were complaining the fact that the devs patched up the windows at the white tents. Like, come on, guys. Me, who likes to play survivor the most, even I know this map needed some curving. It was a little bit too easy as a survivor to win, to win on this map. Oh, wow. Hello. I need to find a rock. I need to find a rock. Okay, that was terrifying. How do I not have a, hundred, a thousand coins, coins, I should say? I soloed a whole generator by myself. Yellow jar? Okay, we could use that. We big chillin'. Big chilling. Everything's good. I hope my teammates are working on generators. I'm a friendly. I'm a friendly. I'm a friendly. All right, F it. I'll just finish the job that you left me to do. Typical. Oh my goodness. I guess I. I mean, hey. I guess that's what you gotta do once you're playing against Survivor. You really don't trust anybody. You can't trust anybody, even if they say they're friendly. What a time to be alive. But yeah, like I said, people just whining about the farm changes. Now, some changes like the changes to the props HP, I totally understand that as well. I think they cut back a little bit too much on the HP. I feel like the HP size for props like barrels, crates, all that. I think if they cut it down to like 120 HP, if they cut it to 120 HP, I think that would have been a little bit better instead of 100 because it kind of makes turning into a big prop pointless in my opinion don't trust mabel mabel's a lie how did that not i need an explanation how did that that didn't work F it. We're going invisible. You gotta be kidding me. This man is really after me. This man really wants my booty. He's chasing me in the cornfield right now. Hopefully that will help me. There we go. Oh my goodness. I had only one HP on me too. But yeah, basically big props are pretty much useless. Pretty much useless now. So I think changing... But they can like, for memes, big bunnies can be like 200 HP. Bears can be like 130 HP. And like they, those kind of props could just be really, really slow. I guess that could be a trade-off that they could have done. Like, reduce the HP by a little, but bigger props are even slower than before. I think that would have been nice. And another thing that I know a lot of people dislike was the changes to the 
was an addition of so-called rank. I understand it. Basically, any player who's above average to high skill, typically adding like the so-called rank that they added, which is really just MMR, kind of sucks. It sucks. Because it just means you're going to be sweating your balls off 24-7. Ah, I tried. I tried. Placed on the chair. Say it ain't so, Joe. Can we wiggle? We can't wiggle. This wiggle is pointless. This wiggle is a lie. He is Kate. He transformed into Kate. All Kates are a lie. He's coming back. Oh, no. At least now I have coins. Hopefully RNG does, say, does something good for me. Let's see. Yellow jar. I need HP, not yellow jar. Oh, well. We'll, we'll, we'll work with it. But yeah, MMR. But we don't really, really don't know how this like MMR system really works. Too. I, I haven't seen anywhere where they like... They went into depth on how the MMR system works. Hopefully it's like a more robust system in a way whereas like it pairs up people with bad mmr or people with low mmr with people with high mmr against killers who have high mmr as well while they work on that i'm gonna try to save the homeboy over here all right somebody help me help damn sis that was close i really don't have that much hp but yeah for all we know they could have a pretty robust mmr system and i think having an mmr system that pairs good players good survivors i should say with bad survivors is basically like the best thing that could be for the game you know against good killers you know and vice versa like if there's a bad killer or let me not say bad a, a killer with a low mmr rank gets paired against only survivors with low mmr i think that would be pretty fair i think that guy's dead dead zos all right let's see can we get anything good i will take that thank you very much Oh, he, he was able to wiggle free. He's legit. He's legit. But yeah, and even if people think it's a bad update, the thing is, the devs update this game so often that even if it is a bad update, they'll fix it pretty quickly. And they've already been listening to the community, right? So that's why, like, even though I was shocked by, like, what some content creators that i enjoy watching said like the devs don't care about the community after that update which is a pretty wild thing to say in my opinion the very next day they listened to some of the community's complaints and they rolled over some of the changes that they made like the whole you get penalized for leaving before the match even starts and even they even increased the the end game time from two minutes to three minutes which is awesome so even if the devs make a bad update like that people dislike chances are it's not going to stay bad forever either i can't use that door anymore so i think the devs are handling prop night pretty well we're gonna see if this goes up okay we went up peace he's safe you can barn He's leaving barn. Oh, give me that coin. Is that? There we go. Alright, where are the other two generators? I'm not trying. I'm trying to make sure we don't get three gen. I don't know where the last generator is. That's the thing I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about personally. Alright. 
We got a camera. That's tough. Epic camera, too. Bless up. There's one there. One in the tent. Oh, are we foraging? Question mark. Is that a thing? Are we foraging? That's that's big ripperonies. He's going. He's leaving. He's going to fucking like stop the other one. So good luck. He's Isaac, I think, heading over to Red Barn. He's in a cornfield. He's Chris. We can finish this one for sure. We have to, we have to commit. Even though I don't think. Oh my goodness. Water, water. Dang. That's GG's. No way. Give me some healing. Give me healing. Two camera flashes. Okay. Better than nothing. We only have a minute and 30 seconds left. And it's basically a 3 gen. <laughs> uh, you hate to see it. basically a three gen. What is this? In this book, we can use that. Let me see if I can bait him all the way over here. And then maybe I can run all the way over to the other side. Let's do that. No, we ran out of time. Man, I tried, I tried. Oh, well, GG's. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about the updates. Are you guys worried about the future of Prop Night? Me personally, I'm not worried about the future of Prop Night. But let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. Six stuns. Oh, oh well, GG's nonetheless. I got to give the killer props. He wasn't really camping. I always upvote killers who don't camp. You guys do the same. And make sure you guys stay safe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Deuces.